So I want to show you guys how to just graph a basic equation and, and just kind of go over some of the features on this particular graphing calculator. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in here and put in a basic linear equation, 3x minus 2. Okay. Now, to graph this equation, I have several options. The first option is, is if I take the cursor and I scroll over here, I can actually change the color of the line. And so, you know, I can change to whatever color I want. And so we're just going to go with blue. I can also change what type of line, and I've made other videos for this, so I'm just kind of uh, reviewing, going over this again. So I'm just going to choose a thick line, and then I'm going to click OK. And now, if I go to graph, I'll get a line. Now, you might say, well, man, your screen looks a little different than mine. Again, I've made videos showing how to change the background screen. But what I'd like to do is just kind of go over it again. So if I click on second format, that's where I have the opportunity to go in and change the color of the axes. So I'm going to change the axes to red. And then I can also go in and change the background color. So we'll just change it back to white. Uh, which is the same as turning it off. And I can change the background color. I think by default it's like a gray color. Once I've changed those options, um, that's it. That's how I graph on the um, graphing calculator. One other thing that's cool about the graphing calculator is sometimes you want to show the table of values right next to the graph itself. Now to do that I just simply click on the mode button and I can come down here and I could choose this option of the type of screen that I want. So a full screen just displays either the full graph or the, the full home screen, which is where we do our mathematical operations. If I click on horizontal, that gives me a split screen, which allows me to do math. But if I click on graph table, um, what that allows me to do when I click on the graph, it will display um, the graph and then it will also display the table of values. Now, if I want to adjust these table of values, what I can do is I can go to second table set and I can choose any number I want to start with. So let's assume I wanted to start with negative 4. And maybe I want to go in an increment of 0.5. In other words, I want to display negative 0.4, then negative 3.5. In other words, I want to increment my value of x um, by 0.5. So I would put that here. Now when I hit graph, notice that I'm starting with negative 4 and I'm incrementing my x value by 0.5.